Welcome to the Django Project, DJ Blogger. This tutorial is part of a YouTube Django Project playlist, which you can access in the video description. You can watch the whole course from the very beginning. If you enjoy this course and would like all the updated tutorials and associated code samples and more, you can check out this course and other courses this project features at Udemy. The link to the course is in the video description. Generally, at the start of your project, you're building different parts of your project and you go ahead and add some data temporarily and then you decide to add some more features and then you decide to kind of restart the database and then you have to add those features or that data back into the database. So it can be useful to have a way of generating database data automatically without having to manually type it in each time you reset the database. In this tutorial, we're going to utilize Factory and Faker to generate some data and insert that into our database. Let's jump back into our project. I'm just gonna close everything from the previous tutorial there. Start again. So inside of our DJ Blogger, DJ Blogger, let's put this inside of our blog here because this data that we generate is going to be associated to our model. So let's put it as close as possible to our model. So new file, let's uh, call this factory.py. All right, so inside of here, we're going to utilize factories or factory boy and faker to generate some data and insert it into our database. So first of all, we're going to need the tools to do that. So over to Google, type in Django factory boy and then PyPy. So that's going to take us to the Python package index and we can go ahead and then pip install factory boy. So let's give that a go back into our terminal. If you haven't already, or oh, just close the server. Let's go ahead and pip install. Don't forget to be in your virtual environment. So let's install that. Now this does come with Faker. Uh, so you can see that it installs Faker as well. So we don't need to install that separately. Okay, so now we have that installed. Let's just open up our models over the side here, because we are going to need to populate our data in our database. So it's good to kind of see our model so we know what we're doing here. Right, so let's go ahead and import a factory. Zoom in a little bit. So the tools that we're going to need. And then let's remember also that there is an author here. So we are going to need some models here both the post model and the author model. So let's just say from django.contrib.auth.models. Let's go ahead and import user. Okay, so that's the user. Let's drag this across a bit because I only need to see the model names. And then from, let's remember where this file is. It's just next to the model. So from dot models. Let's go ahead and import post. Okay, so that's our model sorted. Right, so we are going to need Faker as well. So Faker is going to generate the data for us. Factory is going to allow us to generate multiple objects and insert it into our database. So let's go ahead and bring now the Faker tools. So from factory.faker, let's Im import. Faker, and yeah, I think we're done there. Right, so let's go ahead and create a new class. So class post factory. So this is gonna be a factory for our post. As the name applies, factory. So it allows us to generate multiple things for the post table, if you like. Probably not a very good explanation there, but let's go ahead. So factory has tools specifically for Django. So we bring in the Django model factory. So that allows us to work with Django models. So class meta. So we define, first of all, our table, our model that we're going to work with, and that's the post model. Okay, so now we've defined our model. Now we need to just add some of the data that we want to insert into this model, into this table. So we're going to need to add a title. So on the left, right hand side, you can see the models, the, the post model. You can see the fields that we need to populate. So let's go ahead. Uh, factory. 
Faker. So we're going to bring in Faker. And Faker is going to essentially generate some random data for us. And there are lots of different options here. So we can generate names, dates. If you look at the Faker documentation, it gives you all the information regarding what type of data you can generate. So you can generate real data, so real text, um, sentences, words, uh, and then the specific context. So for example, if you're working for or trying to populate a form, uh, a user form, then you want the name. So you can generate names and addresses and dates and so on. So here we're just going to go for a random like sentence. So it's going to generate a sentence and there's different properties associated to these type of tools. So we can specify the amount of words um, that we want for this particular sentence. And that's kind of handy if we want to simulate the general size of a title or what a title might be. Um, variable. So let's set uh, variable. Oh no, let's, let's not go too deep there. Let's just set it to around about 12 words. Okay, so title, so subtitle. So we need a subtitle. Again, factory.faker. And then we do the same thing again. Sentence. And then we might as well just copy and paste this. Okay, right, so that's the subtitle. We're going to need a slug. Now remember, this is, needs to be a slug. So that means that it needs to be formatted in a way that we can use it in the URL of our browser. So factory does supply a slug. So we can just say factory.faker and then use a slug. Okay, so that's slug. Now we need author. Now author, the thing is here that we need to create a new user. So whenever we create a new post, remember there has to be a user. So before we create a post, there needs to be a user in the user table. So let's go ahead and just create that. So user dot objects, we use the default manager objects dot get or create. So if there isn't one in there, we're going to create one. If there is a user in there with the username of admin, then we're going to create one or the other way around. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So get or create, I think that makes perfect sense, right? So we're either going to get this user or we're going to create this user. And then we pass in the username admin, right? So that will create the new user or get a user for us. So the only field that we need to populate the only other field is going to be the content because created at, updated at, or maybe the status, we'll change that too. So really just the content then the status, the created at and updated at, that would be automatically generated. So here in the Factory Boy documentation, you can see here we have this lazy attribute. And this is a decorator that allows us to essentially build a function and return something which is then going to be utilized as the data to, to store in that particular field. So this is a good example, I think, of utilizing the lazy attribute here. So at factory lazy attribute. So we're going to create content. The thing is, our content, it needs to be quite large for us to kind of simulate our content, which might be on in a post. So it needs to be, you know, multiple paragraphs. Typically a, a post will have multiple paragraphs. So Let's go ahead and try and build that. So here we're going to create a new function called content. So that has to name be the same name as our field. That's important. Yep. So content, content. So pass in self. And then let's go for x equals. Let's just set this up. So we set up an empty variable to begin with. And then let's say for. Now we're not returning anything here. So we'd use the underscore in range zero five okay so we're setting up a range here if you're not familiar with this uh, so essentially we're going to loop around a number of times every time we loop around we're going to do something so what we're going to do here is basically generate some paragraphs which we're then going to store in x and then return and then save in our content field so x plus equals and then we're going to have a, a nice little break so backslash n uh, plus, and then we're going to grab some paragraphs. Right, so 
uh, we're going to do it slightly differently here. So we're not going to use factory faker. Oh, we could, I suppose. We're going to do a slight, I'll just show you a slightly different method. So we can use faker directly. So we did import faker and I did that for a reason. Um, and this is why. So let's say, for example, fake equals uh, faker dot faker. Okay, so we're going to utilize faker directly. So down here, we're going to then use the fake paragraph like we did before. So fake dot paragraph. Now, this is one of the uh, difficulties of if you start to look up and look at the documentation for Faker and Factory Boy, etc., there's different methods of utilizing both tools, which can be a little bit confusing when you're trying to find something. So let's go for sentences. Um, so we're going to go for 30 sentences. And then at the end, we're going to need some sort of line break, right? So let's go for the N again. Okay. So we're going to loop around five times. Each time we loop around, we're going to create a new paragraph up to 30 sentences. And then that's going to be stored in X here. And then all we need to do then is return, return X. Now you can change the names here. Apologies for using X, Y, etc. So what's going to happen, like you said, we're going to create um, some paragraphs. That's going to be then saved in content. Don't forget to use the same name as the function as our field name. And then last of all, Let's go ahead and add the status. So remember the status is either draft or published. So we just needed to define that. So let's just keep everything published for now. So status equals publish. So we can just write it in manually. For some reason, um, the post model disappeared. I'm not too sure what happened there. Um, hopefully I didn't forget to tell you. So from dot models let's import post there we go okay so now we're ready to run this so we can run this we can make a management command or we could just type this into the terminal so let's give this a go so for this we need to go into uh, manage.py and then let's go into the shell so let's bring in the tools so from DJ blogger dot blog um, s import or oh, DJ blog apologies uh, dot factory factory so that's where it's saved from factory let's go ahead and import post factory so now we have that in place let's go ahead and build some new data so we're going to say post factory factory Factory, uh, dot create batch. So we've got this uh, method here, create batch. Batch, yep. And then we can just specify how many you want to make. So I'm going to make 10, or let's make 100. Let's make 100 new entries or 100 new posts. So it looks like we've got an unexpected keyword. Okay, so let's take a look. This is probably just a typo. Um, Provide a sentence, got unexpected keyword. Okay, so MB works. Hmm. Well, that's rather obvious. I'm not too sure why I type works. It should be words. Apologies. So words. There we go. So let's, uh, let's try that again. So the thing is now we need to just come out. Let's do this. We come out. Let's go back in again. Let's um, import everything back in. Let's go ahead and run this again. And there we go. So we've now run our factory. So we should now have a hundred new posts. So I think we've got the web page open already. So let's just exit this and let's uh, go ahead and run the server. go back to our page here and just do a refresh and there we go so you can see that we've created a hundred new posts so the problem we've got now is let's imagine our blog had 20,000 posts 
as we stated at the start here, what we want to do is we want to show all the latest posts here on the home page. The problem we've got here is that if we wanted to load up 20,000 posts and show that to the user, 20,000 posts will be need to be loaded onto this page. And as you might imagine, all those 20,000 images and that text, that's quite a large amount of data to pass to a home page, to an index page. So you can imagine that is potentially going to use a lot of resources, both your server and the user's computer. So what we want to try and do next is we want to lazy load in data on this page. So for example, when the user gets to around about 10 or 20 posts, we want to load the next 20. And by doing that, we can control um, the amount of data that's on this page. We can then improve the performance of this page. So without having to load 20,000 all at once, we can do that incrementally. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So this also known as a uh, lazy loading or infinite scroll. So we're going to allow the user to infinitely scroll down and see all the posts and load them in um, as and when they're needed. 